And I think this is what's kind of amazing to me as we're walking up, we're going to start seeing the pit here. And before you opened it up with open pit, it was just all the mountain. Yeah. Now we're coming on up here. Is this down here, Bill? Is this what we're calling the... This was the, the big room? Yeah. Now tell me again that your, your theory then about your, your great-grandfather and we've heard the story, I know the story, but what area would it have been when your dad was, was tunneling in and he came in this, on this shaft? Okay, you see where the brush is up there? Down, down a ways. Okay, you see that loose rock behind it? Yes. There's a shaft. Okay. Now that shaft came clear out. And all this was solid hill. Okay. So when he was digging the shaft, he was up, we have to imagine this as being just a solid hill. Yeah. And he was coming in then he, from straight, below that. Straight down. Straight down. Imagine, you can imagine an open room down there. The air is tight. They, they, they have, they have uh, two tunnels going in there, but they won't. They, There's no pumps. They're not pumping any no, air in. Yeah. But sometimes it'll, the wind will pick it around. Well, my dad, as this tunnel goes down, this shaft, my dad's down here in this open hole. I mean, open, yeah. Not open, but And go down in that hole and figure out where it was and to go right to it without anybody surveying or anything. Well, he took a tunnel straight into that shaft. Well, when they got in there, it was filled with rock, just like the film. See, where the, up the ledges up there, the top of their hill up there, yeah, that kind of a red hard rock, yeah, that shaft was filled with that rock, and they couldn't get it to turn loose, they could poke it. They was under it when they poked it, see? And they couldn't get it to turn loose. And so they just left it. They didn't break through. So what you're saying is that here we here we are, we're coming over here, and we've got this area right here is where this was taking place, right? Where that shaft was. And you're following what, what your dad, you saw where he had cut through in there and connected yeah. into that shaft. And the material that was filled in came from over came from the ledges at the top. The ledges at the top. So somebody went through a lot of trouble to carry that rock down and fill that shaft in. They didn't want somebody ever to dig that shaft out because there was something at the bottom they didn't want them to find. And you couldn't move it? I could move it, yeah. Yeah, but I you could, didn't. You just left it there. Well, I could have dug it all out because it was only about 15 feet of wall. If I'd have took the effort, I could have blasted the wall out yeah. and got on top of the shaft, and I could have dug down in the shaft. But if my grandpa was buried at the bottom, I damn sure didn't want to disturb him. You did not want to do that. Yeah. Well, isn't that something? There was an open pit here, and my, and my dad was mining in that big open hole over there run out of turquoise so he came back over he came over here a geologist told him that he should follow these streaks in the hill so my dad followed the streaks in but he couldn't keep the muck car behind him that's to carry out the the, the tailings. tailings so he dug another tunnel by the side of them and he'd break over to them every now and then and they'd mine them out and he followed that streak and it went down in and pocketed down that other end. So that's where it came on down here and that's where they followed down and found the great room yeah. down in here. Yeah. 
and you're saying this pit which now is maybe well at its deepest maybe 50 feet or so is it was 110 here. feet so that all this material here has been filled back in yeah. and each one of these big holes there where this was all areas where they had they had dug. they, had, they, I dug, they I dug this big one but this was uh, after you opened up that center piece out that rock that light rock that comes across I took it out because there was some turquoise back up in here I wanted to get so as I took that center piece out I pulled the side off imagine imagine the formations laying like this yeah and so I was on this side to where it was slanted now that wall that was showing there. I'd seen it since I was a little kid and there was no turquoise in it. So I didn't think there's any turquoise in that. So I started breaking it off. I shot underneath it and it didn't do anything so I started pulling it off with the excavator. And I had the excavator reaching as high as it could go to get to the top of it and I could shake it. And I finally got it to fall off. And it, and it just about got me. That's how much rock was in it. And as it fell and broke open, it was loaded with turquoise. Loaded. Just veins of turquoise. Yeah. I, I figured that as soon as that fell off, I probably became two or three hundred dollars, hundred thousand dollars richer. I figured that's how. So there were hundreds, it. hundreds of pounds of turquoise. Yeah. In there. In that, yeah. Yeah. And I've still got some of it. 30, 40 years later, I still got some at my vault. I think you showed that to me. I yeah. took a picture of that, yeah. the, the, that material. It was amazing. Yeah. And that came right from this, this hole right here, the, the ledge right above the hole. Well, right, that, that uh, yeah. The, you see, you see over there, you have the dark black, black rock. Yep. And you have this real long. And that rock. light rock. It was where that light rock was. And that's what it came in. Yeah. So really that it's, that part you pulled down, that's what was left, is just that yeah. that face yeah. that's there. But somebody knew that that turquoise was there because they had dug a tunnel under it. They had dug a tunnel into this side and they had dug on that side. Somebody knew it was there, but they couldn't find it. So that would have been somebody meaning from, from the 20s or 30s, either your yeah. your dad or so they had yeah. been in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to the hammers and the things from the Indians? Where did that stuff end up? Most of it ended up in the museum. Mm -hmm. A lot of people carried them off. Uh, I got one hammer at my my house, used for a doorstop that I found just right over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. Mm -hmm.